男人要玩，女人要听；女人要玩，男人都要听。发烧玩家。主持 Sam Ho， 嘉宾主持哥利亚 Barry j o n e e d i s o n Wong。开始今日发烧玩家节目，我哋个专访。上个礼拜四，我就同一班朋友去咗睇美国爵士歌手 Stacy Kent 嘅演唱会。咁之后咧，唱片公司就安排咗我同佢做个访问。听完佢新专辑《Summer Me Winter Me》里面嘅呢首歌《Happy Talk》之后咧，就会有佢同我哋讲下今次再嚟香港演出嘅感想，同埋介绍佢嘅新专辑。发烧专访，访港演出，国际知名爵士歌手 Stacy Kent Part One。You've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how you gonna have a dream come true? Talk about the moon floating in the sky, looking like a lily on a lake. Talk about the bird learning how to fly. Making all the music you can make. Happy talking, talking, happy talk. Talk about things you'd like to do. You've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how you gonna have a dream? How does it feel like for you to come back and perform for the Hong Kong audience? I loved being at the concert last night because, first of all, to be with the Hong Kong audience again was. Beautiful. We have such a beautiful rapport. But also, we were in such a special concert hall. When I found out that we were playing there, 
which is a hall for Chinese opera. I think we might have been the first jazz concert in the hall. And I love that. That's very special for me. That's a real honor. And that has happened to us before. I think we're the kind of music, because it's kind of a, you know, a chamber music recital. In Paris, that happened when they transferred Sal Pleo from a classical hall. Well, it had done some jazz, but then they revamped the hall and they put us in. It's quite an honor to be kind of the first examples of that to make that transition. The hall was very beautiful, the sound was beautiful, and um, I absolutely loved it. 咁佢就話好開心，因為嗰個氣氛好融合啦，同埋佢特別開心嘅，因為佢知道自己第一次喺香港呢個好特別嘅演出場地演出，本係做大戲嘅戲曲中心演唱。咁佢話呢個已經唔係佢第一次嘅啦，因為喺巴黎佢曾經試過咧，係一個由古典演奏音樂廳改裝俾佢哋做個爵士演唱會，佢就話香港戲曲中心嘅場地佢覺得好靚，同時佢對呢個場地嘅音響效果都相當之滿意。跟住落嚟咧，我就問佢點樣揀佢呢只新嘅專輯《Summer Me Winter Me》上面嘅歌曲嘅咧。How did you choose a song for this new album《Summer Me Winter Me》？This was a fun record to make. Be- well, they're all fun to make, and they're all very personal. But I chose this very specifically because after so many years of going to a concert. And going to the signings after the concert, and people would pick up the CDs and they'd say, "Which album has Happy Talk? Which one has No Mikit Pa? Which one has Postcard Lover?" You know, they were asking the questions, and I would say, "Oh, we haven't recorded them yet." And so I wouldn't call it an official requests album. But Jim, my husband and producer, and I decided that we would gather up all the songs that didn't have a home yet and put them on one record. So all these songs were played live for a long time. Before we went into the studio, so it was really fun because when we did go into the studio to record these, the best way I can describe it, it was like picking up with old friends because we weren't playing them live currently. We'd played them live, and you know, songs come and go from the repertoire. And so to return to Summer Me Winter Me and to return to Numikit Pa was just joyous. And Jim, you know, finessed the arrangements for the record. That's how we came up with the theme. He said, "Well, this album is very interesting." 喺錄嘅過程裏面，咧，佢係好開心嘅。點解會有啲歌呢？因為佢每次做演唱會咧，都會做一個簽名嘅活動。咁好多朋友喺簽名嘅時候就問佢：呢隻歌喺邊度嚟㗎？嗰隻歌係喺邊隻專輯上面㗎？你有冇錄過呢隻歌啊？咁咁佢就話：冇喎。呢、这個我都未錄嘅噃，我只係喺個演唱會度唱嘅啫。呢啲歌咧，佢就經常喺個演唱會度唱，都唱過好多好多次嘅啦。但係從來咧都冇出嚟佢任何一張個人嘅專輯上面嘅。今次佢喺錄呢只專輯嘅時候咧，就有個好特別嘅感覺啦。呢、这個好似係嗰啲老朋友咁樣。咁最後咧就諗咗以呢一個概念同主題嚟完成呢一張新嘅專輯。So this album is by popular demand, right？ 信眾要求啦，係嘛 ？So it's really by popular demand, and now it's really fun because I can go to the concert. And people will say which one is this on, and I say it's on this. But it's funny because now the new songs people keep asking. So not last night in Hong Kong, but a few nights ago we played somewhere in the U.S. because we were doing the U.S. tour and the Canadian tour before we got here. And we're at the signing table, and people are picking up the CDs, and they said, "Which album has Shadow of Your Smile?" Yeah. And I said, "Oh." We haven't recorded it yet, so now we know, and we write it down in the iPhone and on our notepad because we're always taking notes, and it'll go out on another record. 咁当然呢啲系信众要求啦。不过佢出咗只碟之后咧，啲人就问佢其他啲歌究竟喺边度出现，譬如好似 The Wind Mills of Your Mind 咁样。咁佢话我都未录过呢首歌噶噃。不过你哋问我啲歌咧，我都会记得。如果我未录嘅话咧，我睇下将来有机会咧，我咪录咗佢咯。Be a long list of songs for you to record in the future. 咁咪有一个好长嘅清单咯。Exactly. And so for my next decade, you know, I will just make keep on making records and、uh, include those songs. 咁即系话未来十年可能我都要一直要录呢啲歌嚟满足听众噶喎。咁到底呢一个录音做咗几耐咧 ？For this project, how long have you been working on it? Well, this is very unusual because normally we would record an album and then put it out. We actually started this album before the pandemic, and then the pandemic came, and everything, as you know, we don't need to go into longhand, shut down and changed. So we started this record in 2019, and then we put it on a shelf because when the pandemic hit, Jim and Art Hirahara and I decided that actually the record we wanted to make was songs from other places, which was very, very special for me because Jim and Art and I had been talking about making a record for a long time, 20 years. We're a very intimate trio within the group. When a singer and a pianist have that kind of strong relationship. You know, like Tony Bennett and Bill Evans,、yeah. 
right? Or Doris Day and Andre Previn. You know, you know you're going to make that record. And the pandemic time was the perfect time to do that. So this is a very unusual time because we're actually crossing over two records at once. We've never done that before. That's really fun for me because we've got a record within a record and both really translate well to this trio, to the mini orchestra. So last night we performed songs from Summer Me, Winter Me with the trio, even though they were recorded with five and six piece. And sometimes we play them with orchestra too. I mean, if you go away, ne me quitte pas, we play that with 60 piece with the orchestra. So sometimes these songs come out in different combinations, but that's why this started so long ago. And then it really feels like an old friend because we recorded it in 2019. We finished it in 2022 because we went into the studio to produce it, master it. Two years after it had been recorded. 开始录音嘅时候咧，都未发生呢个冠状病毒嘅疫情嘅。咁疫情一开始蔓延，越嚟越严重嘅时候咧，好多嘢都停止运作啦。佢哋嘅录音工作计划咧，亦都要暂停。佢哋喺二零一九年已经开始进行录音噶啦。但系当时佢同阿 Jim 最想录嘅咧，就系后来喺二零二一年出版嗰只 Songs from Other Places 专辑上面嘅歌曲。佢同阿詹計劃錄呢啲歌差唔多有二十年咁耐噶啦，咁因為佢同琴手阿基哈拉有好密切嘅工作關係，佢就話好似 Tony Bennett 同 Bill Evans 或者 Doris Day 同 Andre p l u f f i n g 咁啦，咁所以佢哋可以透過互聯網網絡傳輸咁樣錄製歌曲。嗰、那個工作過程咧都係相當順利嘅，當時覺得個感覺好特殊嘅，因為同時間咧係做緊兩個專輯嘅錄音，佢係從來未笑咁樣去錄音嘅。虽然系两只专辑交集住咁样做，但系嗰个录音过程都顺利嘅。佢话佢之前无论系同一个三重奏合作啊，或者系同一个小组乐团合作啊，甚至系同一个大嘅乐团去录音咧，佢都系好有经验嘅。无论点样形式，对佢嚟讲都系冇问题嘅。咁今次佢喺香港嘅演唱会咧，佢就 trio 嚟伴奏啦，玩佢《Summer Me Winter Me》专辑同埋其他嘅歌曲啊。咁但系有时咧，佢会同比较多嘅伴奏乐手合作啦，甚至好似《If You Go Away》咧，佢又会同个六十人嘅乐团一齐演出。讲翻《Summer Me Winter Me》咧，佢哋就系好早已经开始呢个录音计划，但系一直要到二零二二年两年之后咧，先至入去录音室完成呢个录音，同埋进行后期冇带处理嘅。到今年咧，先至出版到呢只《Summer Me Winter Me》。咁所以听翻呢啲歌嘅时候咧，感觉真系。系好似见翻啲老朋友咁样嘅，佢话。咁我就问佢喺疫情嘅期间，点去创作去录呢一只专辑咧 ？How did you get creative to record this album during the COVID lockdowns? It was such a fascinating time because everything stopped, and it was heartbreaking period. And yet, at the same time, what was so interesting was, you know, I was locked away with Jim, my best friend, my husband, my producer. And in some senses, we were able to be very creative.、Yeah. Now we were lucky because we were locked away together, not separately. We were able to do things because we have such a great relationship with Art Hirahara, our pianist. We don't have to be in the same room to communicate well. Jim and I started doing lots of things on the internet. I mean, lots of musicians did. People were writing to us constantly on Instagram, on Facebook, on Patreon, insisting that we record for them. I mean, in a very beautiful way, saying, "Stacy, please sing to us." I'm mean, almost because I think they turned to me as a soothing voice and a reassuring voice, and they were asking us to sing them almost like a lullaby from a mother to a child. You know. So people felt safe, you know, and I think that's why we recorded things like Three Little Birds and Lovely Day. And people asked us to return to I Wish I Could Go Traveling, which metaphorically is so important. And people ask for that all the time. We performed it last night at the show, so we re-recorded that. So we were very productive, and in fact. It's difficult to say this because it was such a traumatizing time for the world. But because we couldn't travel, we were able to do so much that we couldn't normally do when we're running, 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 running. So we wrote a lot of music. Jim wrote a lot of music. He wrote more with Ishiguro, with Kazuo Ishiguro, the novelist, because Ish was sending lyrics and Jim was writing. They wrote Craggy Burn together. They decided to rewrite Postcard Lovers. We were reading poetry and coming up with ideas, so it was a particularly creative period for us. I feel for the people who were locked away, like my father, 
who was alone on the 26th floor of a very small apartment, not able to go out. For us, um, we were able to really get down to work. He said this is a very impossible time. Because everything was stopped. Everyone was in a very tense situation. 但系对于佢同阿詹嚟讲咧，就系比较好彩嘅。喺嗰段时间咧，佢哋就变得非常之有创意，因为佢哋唔系被分开隔离，一直都系一齐嘅。更加因为有互联网嘅关系咧，所以佢就可以同佢哋嘅钢琴手 Akihara 隔空一齐创作录音。咁同时咧，好多朋友。或者听众咧，透过社交媒体联络佢哋，有啲要求佢哋合作做歌、做音乐啦，有啲甚至想佢哋唱歌俾佢哋听，因为觉得佢把声咧系可以有一种舒缓情绪嘅力量，好似妈妈唱安眠曲俾 B B 听咁样，俾佢安全感同埋消除佢哋嘅恐惧，所以就触发咗佢哋录咗《Three Little Birds》Lovely Day， 特别系嗰首非常有含义、发人心醒嘅《I Wish I Could Go Traveling Again》，代表咗好多人困住屋企唔可以外出嘅人嘅心声嘅呢首歌。咁所以佢哋就重录咗《I Wish I Could Go Traveling Again》，收录喺佢哋嗰张《Songs From Other Places》专辑里边。喺香港嘅演唱会开头嗰首歌咧，都系呢首歌嚟噶啦。所以喺冠状病毒嘅隔离期间咧，佢哋系非常之有创意同埋好有生产力嘅。因为疫情之前，佢哋经常要出来演出，所以唔可以停落嚟嘅。咁喺呢段时间，佢哋又唔可以出外边，所以佢哋咧就可以完成好多工作。特别系 Jim 咧，喺呢段时间咧，佢就同日本著名诺贝尔得奖嘅作家。黑石一雄合作写歌，都出现喺《Songs from Other Places》专辑里面。咁啊 ，Stacy 话讲出嚟觉得有啲唔系几恰当，因为当时一个非常嘅时期，大家都喺一个非常困苦嘅环境里面。咁跟住我就问佢点解会谂到用呢个《Summer Me Winter Me》做唱片嘅名称咧 ？How did you come up with the album title《Summer Me Winter Me》？You know, I'm always looking for an inviting, evocative title. For me, music is an invitation. I hear something. I put on my headphones, and I'm gone. I'm transported into the world of dreams and being lost somewhere else. I realize how important to me ability to invite people in. So whenever I pick a title, first I have to love the song, and it has to be the all-encompassing theme. Let's say, even if there's no theme. But the words themselves matter so much. The poetry of the words themselves, "Summer me, winter me, come with me." That's what I want, and so I love the title. My friend Sarah Goldmark, she's a calligrapher, and she wrote this for me. And even that's an invitation. You know, everything matters, and that's how we feel. We have this just infectious joy of sharing it. And "Summer me, winter me" was just that evocative title to invite people along. 佢就话佢一直都系要揾一啲有吸引力同埋引人思考嘅文字嚟做专辑名嘅。对佢嚟讲咧，音乐要一种引人入胜嘅感觉嘅。当佢一戴咗耳筒听音乐嘅时候咧，佢就好似立刻消失咗咁，进入咗一个梦境嘅世界。所以当佢揀唱片标题之前，佢一定要中意啲歌先啦，或者系跟住佢唱片嘅概念同埋主题去。谂啦，冇主题都好啦。佢认为歌词嘅诗意就非常之重要啦。好似 Summer me, Winter me, Come with me， 跟我嚟啦咁。佢就系想人哋跟住佢嘛。佢非常之喜欢呢一个唱片嘅标题。佢嘅朋友 Sarah 系一个书法家，佢就同佢喺封面上面设计咗特别嘅字体，写咗 Summer me, Winter me 呢个名。咁亦都系非常之有吸引力，一切嘅细节都系非常之重要嘅，就需要一种有感染力嘅分享。所以就用咗一个非常令人回味嘅专辑名称《Summer Me Winter Me》。咁我哋呢一次嘅访问咧，就分咗两次播出。喺下个礼拜第二辑 ，Stacy 就会介绍佢专辑上面嘅歌曲嘅选曲同埋制作嘅情况。记得下个礼拜继续留意收听啦。结束第一辑嘅访问咧，我哋就播佢呢个专辑嘅标题歌啦。
of velvet you, clover you. I'll wrap you up and ribbon you, rainbow you. And shower you with shine. Suddenly, magically, we found each other. There we were, here we are. I plan to let you have me, me, some of me, wit of me, always be. Stacy Kent 第二集嘅訪問。